we look at uh, kidney failure kidney failure is on the rise why is it so it's because one our lifestyles increased incidence of diabetes hypertension and uh, these two conditions actually form 50% of the causes for kidney failure and uh, kidney failure goes through five stages stage 1 where the kidney function drops to about 90% stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 stage 5 in stage 5 is when the kidney function is less than 15% stage 4 is when it is between 30 and 15% so when they reach when they are in stage 1 and stage 2 we look at how do we stop the disease from progressing so we look at reversible factors and we need to treat them so it's very important that the primary physician or the nephrologist with whom the patient is looks into these to correct the reversible causes or treat the comorbid conditions like diabetes and hypertension now when we come to stage 3 where you know the complications because of kidney failure start showing up like anemia uh, bone disorders they can just present with back pain you know to the orthopedician so in all these patients you, you know uh, uh, in a person the doctor who is looking at them should actually look beyond just their complaints to look at the whole person and see and find out the cause when they reach stage 4 they have become irreversible and that's when we look at hey this guy has reached irreversible stage so we need to plan what his future is going to be when he reaches stage 5 stage 4 we we call it as if we do a transplant we call it as a preemptive kidney transplant where the patient doesn't need to go through dialysis but can straight away go through a kidney transplant or if he wants to wait and he is looking for a donor then at this stage is when we start doing an av fistula or plan an access for dialysis for him and when they reach stage 5 and the kidney function drops to less than 15% then we look at like hey he is in end stage kidney disease so what are the options he has one kidney transplant two hemodialysis three peritoneal dialysis so in each one of these the quality of living and the best quality of living is being provided by kidney transplant provided they have a family donor